It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be installing a unit I received from Colleen Hair. They did send over some lashes and also an elastic band and I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm so excited to open up this wig. So now this is the unit that I received from them. They did send over a 4C 13 by 4 lace front wig and this unit is so pretty this is my first time um seeing a wig like this with some natural edges and i'm excited to install this for you guys and the hair did come pre-washed and it actually does smell good and this is how the edges will look like y'all so i'm going to show you guys how i styled this unit and i'm also going to go ahead and bleach the knot i forgot to mention i did receive a 28 inch and the unit did come with the strap as well too to make sure it's secured on my head now it's time to bleach the knot so i'm coming in with my powder i'm only using two scoops that's all you need for this unit and i'm also going to come in with my 40 developer just pouring just a little bit of that in the bowl and i'm going to use my popsicle stick to stir that up when bleaching your knots the goal is to create a nice smoothie paste you don't want nothing too runny or too thick because you don't want that to seep through your lace well, i'm just adding a little bit of my developer to get that nice smoothie paste just the way i like it and all you just gotta keep doing is just mixing it Now look at that paste, it is coming together the way I like. Okay, so now I'm ready to bleach the knots, but before I go ahead and do that, I do spray the lace with got to be spray to make sure that everything is molded down and nothing is seeping through the lace. So now I like to start off with the bottom and make my way up to the top because the Ford developer does bleach pretty fast so you just want to take your time and you always want to use a light hand. Don't go too heavy because you don't want to press that bleach into your knots. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just starting from the bottom and making my way up to the top and using a light hand. This is a learning process and I know you guys are going to get it. You just got to keep practicing to get the hang of it. Like you can see, I am making my way up to the top. So we're almost done covering up the whole lace with the bleach. I like to come in with some aluminum foil because it does make the bleaching process really fast. So what I do, I put my timer on for 20 minutes and I check, then I put another 20 minutes, then I check to make it easier to make sure you're keeping track of the bleaching process. It's very important to keep track of it because you don't want to over bleach the knots. So this is how the knots are looking like. I just washed the unit. I used my purple shampoo and this is how it's looking like. The 4C edges is definitely giving 4C. This is a natural unit and I'm so obsessed with it. So now it's time for the plucking process. And I gotta say, I'm not the best at plucking, but I am learning. And all I gotta say, just watch what I'm doing. So I did learn a method while plucking, you want to do the skipping method. And the skipping method is going to definitely help you guide on how to plug the wig. So what you want to do is obviously use a light hand. Never go too heavy because you do not want to rip a hole through the lace because it will be bad. So now I'm just using the skip method. And you always want to make sure you're combing out the hair as well while you plug. So just watch me just plug the unit. So I'm just skipping, plug, skipping, plug 
and I'm just doing my best. But it did turn out really, really great though. Uh, I'm proud of myself. I actually did a, did a great job on plucking this unit. I did want to mention that one thing that made it easier for me while plucking my units is that you want to use one hand to hold the hair to make sure you have a nice grip and then you want to use your tweezers and you just want to go ahead and pluck very lightly not too heavy and that's going to help you see what you're working with because you see how the hair I have a nice grip on the hair and the hair is straight down so I'm able to pull out the hair very easily and I like to pluck on a dry unit because it's easier for me you can either do wet or dry because if you do it dry i feel like running your hot comb through it and applying that wax on top of it is going to show you what you're working with and to see the process of to see how much hair you're plucking so i like um plucking on a dry unit some people prefer wet but you know everyone's different but the goal is do what works for you so don't forget to run your comb through that hair as well while you're plucking because it does make a big difference on your work. Hopefully everything I'm saying makes sense. If you guys would like to see more detail on how I pluck my units, comment down below because I would love to see what you guys think. So now it's time to install this wig unit. So now I'm just going to go ahead and create my bald cap. I'm going to do my regular. Just go ahead and cut both ear tabs out to make sure that the cap is laid flatly on my head. So I'm going to come in with my Ebon Wonderlay spray in the red can. I love this spray. It works really, really good. Like I always say, this is like the best spray on the market right now. So I'm using that to go ahead and create my bald cap. So I'm coming in with my blow dryer using a warm temperature to make sure that the cap is fully dried. And I'm going to come in with another layer to make sure that this cap ain't lifted. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Now that my cap is fully dried, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess cap that I don't need. So I'm just using my scissors to cut that off. Now it's time to apply my makeup on my bald cap. I'm just using my RDF 15 to go ahead and spread that makeup throughout my bald cap.
Okay, so now it's time to install this wig unit. Now I have it on my head, making sure that everything is fit correctly and very comfortable. The wig side was too big for my head, but I had to go ahead and adjust it. So that's what I did. So now that it's on my head now, I'm gonna go ahead and push back the hair. And what I like to do to make sure that I know where I'm placing it, I like to mark where I'm gonna lay the hair down because it makes it easier for me to know where the placement's at. So now that my placement is marked, Okay, now this time I did not forget to cut off the ear tab before I apply my glue because I forgot to do that a couple of times, but the unit still turned out really cute. Now that everything is placed correctly and I have my placement, I'm just going to run my hot comb through the hair. I did run the hot comb through the baby edges, so they're not 4C anymore. They're pretty straight, but I'm going to go ahead and swoop them anyways because you know me, I love my edges being swooped. So I'm just using rubbing alcohol to take up all the makeup off my forehead because you want to make this unit stick. So I'm using my ghost bond and I'm applying two layers of that on my forehead because I'm not going to keep this unit on for too long. So I'm just using two layers and try not to use so much glue because a little goes a long way. So I'm just coming in with something to spread the glue out because you want to make sure your glue is fully dried and spread very good. the glue is dry i'm gonna go ahead and start placing the wig so i already have my placement marked so i know where i'm gonna lay it so i'm gonna start from the side first and then work my way around the other side and when you're laying your unit you want to make sure that you're using your fingers to press the glue in with the lace because that's the only way to secure it as well so i'm coming in with my blow dryer on a warm temperature pressing my comb through that unit to make sure that the glue is pressed in so now i have my elastic band over the edges to make sure that everything is pressed in together i'm gonna go ahead and style the hair now i decided to go with a side part because i wanted to try something different for once i'm always doing a middle part so i'm just like a side part it is so i'm just using my tweezer just to plug a little bit to define that part even more so i'm gonna come in with my wax stick because i'm gonna go ahead and run my hot comb through the hair and when you do that you want to make sure that you're going very slow because you want the hair to be flatly pressed
So I'm going to go ahead and section off the hair because I'm going to hot comb the hair section by section because this is a straight unit. I want to make sure that everything is flatly pressed and straightened out very well. So it's now time to cut off the lace. I did create three slits on the lace to make it very easy for me to cut off the lace. So I'm just using my razor to go ahead and do that. Like you guys can see, I'm trying to get very close to the hairline because you want to make sure that you're cutting off every piece of lace on the unit. So I'm using some spritz to go ahead and melt down the lace. I've been seeing a lot of girls using this. This is a big trend, so I decided to try it out. And it does actually melt your lace. So I'm just spraying just a little bit of the spritz on my fingers and I'm just applying it on the lace front. So I'm just coming in with my blow dryer using a warm temperature like always to make sure that the lace is melted into my skin. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and lay the edges down. Like you guys can see, the 4C edges, I end up hot combing it back. It was cute while it lasted, but I'm going to go ahead and swoop my edges because I like a nice swoop and that completes my style for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull some hair out. The edges were already pre-cut for me, so they were super easy for me to like, you know, pull the hair out. But I decided to go with two swoops on both sides of the unit to, just to complete my look for the hairstyle that I'm going for. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I also had to plug just a little bit more because this side of the head was kind of too thick for my liking. And I just wanted to make sure that everything was plugged nice and neat.
so now i'm coming in with my flat iron i actually do need a new one because this one's not getting hot enough but if you guys have any recommendation on some flat iron please comment down below because your girl needs a new one and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of the edges to curl them up so i can go ahead and get my edges ready to lay them down All right guys, it's time to lay the edges down. So I am coming in with a dry mousse. I do recommend using a dry mousse instead of a wet mousse. It's because when you use the wet mousse, your lace tend to lift up while you try to lay your edges down and that's a big no-no. And it's also easier to work with because the hair is not gonna be too wet while you try to lay your baby edges but i'll go ahead and link down below the type of mousse i use and you guys can definitely go ahead and check that out like you guys can see my edges weren't laying down it was definitely giving me a hard time and i can't lie doing your edges is so hard to do and it is a learning process you just got to keep practicing i'm still learning how to do my edges y'all so and I'm definitely going to be honest with you guys. It's okay to mess up while doing your baby edges. It is a learning process. We are learning here together. And the best method that helps me while I try to do my baby edges is try to use that C method, guys. Place your finger where the hair is laying and then swoop the edges right back. Just like that. Hopefully, this can help you out on your next wig install. So I came in with a little bit more spritz to melt that lace into my skin and I did come in with my hot comb to make sure that everything is flatly pressed down because once again we're trying to achieve that nice straight hair look. So I'm coming in with some concealer to define my part even more for this hair look. Like you guys can see, I did run out of some black hairspray. I was kind of mad about that, but I was trying to get as much as I can out of that can before it was done. So I had to use a different method to complete this look. So I'm, I came in with some eyeshadow to define my part even more since I ran out of hairspray. So this is what I'm doing, defining my line with some eyeshadow. So now that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and straighten the hair, nothing too special. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. 
the best part about this unit while i was straightening the hair it did not shed it straightened very well and it also wasn't too frizzy my hair did stay straight um for the whole day i definitely do recommend getting this hair if you're looking for a straight unit because some straight hairs tend to get frizzy or don't don't even straighten very well but this one does so that's a good thing about this unit no shedding and it's straightened very good that's all that matters and also the hair was very soft as well too no tangled while i was plucking well, that's a good thing um especially for a wig unit so i'm just coming in with some mousse this one last time and i'm gonna run my hot comb through that to make sure that everything is flatly pressed down the way i like it so yeah that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do the unit came out really really nice look how nice and soft i'm running my fingers through the unit no tingles or anything like that and the baby hairs turned out really good you can either keep it as a 4c or even lay the baby hairs like i did either way it turned out really good if you made it to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching you guys are definitely a real one and if you guys enjoy watching this wig and style i received from colleen hair comment down below because i'd love to go ahead and see what you guys think if i make more videos like this this wig unit was super easy to install i love the way it turned out i definitely do recommend this unit if you guys are looking for a straight black hair 4c edges this unit is definitely it and before we go don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and we'll be back with more videos Bye.